What's good YouTube? In this video, we'll be taking a look at how to edit and customize the assistive touch options on your iPhone. If you find this kind of content helpful, leave a message down below. Don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching. So the assistive touch menu is a on-screen menu that you can enable on your iPhone to help you quickly access several very useful iPhone features and options. It's popularly used as a replacement for the home button, but its features go far more in depth than this. So first we'll look to see how we can enable assistive touch on your iPhone. What you wanna do is to go into your settings app. You wanna scroll down until you see accessibility. Once you're in the accessibility menu, what you wanna do is scroll down until you see a touch and then assistive touch. Here, you can enter the assistive touch menu and you can enable or disable it if you already have assistive touch turned off. You'll know that you have assistive touch turned on if there's a small little button on every screen of your iPhone that you can touch to access the assistive touch menu. So if we open up the default assistive touch menu, what you'll notice is that there's the default options, which is Siri, Home, Control Center, Custom, Notification Center, and Device. Notification Center, of course, brings down your notifications. Device allows you to access some very handy device controls like lock the screen, volume up and down. Control Center, of course, pulls down your control center. Home goes back to the home screen on your iPhone, which is the equivalent of swiping up on newer iPhones. And of course, Siri activates Siri. These features in and above themselves are quite useful, but you can actually further customize this by diving a little bit deeper into the assistive touch menu, which we'll do here. So as you can see, you can hit customize top level menu in the assistive touch screen. And from here you have a few options. At the bottom, you can change the amount of icons. You can go from the default six down to one icon if you just wanna have something like the home button, for example, where you can increase the icons up to eight. I like to keep it around four because I like a little bit of simplicity when I'm using my shortcuts on my iPhone. So some of the options that are available include a quick button to enable lock rotation, lock your screen, have a long press on the screen, mute your iPhone, access pinch, disable pinch and rotate, and turn on reachability mode. Given the increasing size of iPhones, I do enjoy having a quick access to reachability mode as I find the swipe down gesture to be somewhat hit or miss to enable reachability. So once you enable reachability in the assistive touch menu, you'll see that there's an icon for reachability in your quick selection. So from here on any screen of your iPhone, you can actually quickly access the assistive touch menu and turn on and off reachability. So there you have it everyone, just a quick and easy way to access several very useful features on your iPhone through the assistive touch menu, which I think is undervalued and underappreciated. If you found this kind of content helpful, leave a message down below. Don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching.